Hey, what's up, guys? It's so here, and welcome to Disney's Magic Kingdom. Was Ice Age put in the game too early? AKA a Fox IP, which is also a Blue Sky Studio. Was that franchise put in too early? The answer is yes. Ice Age was put in way too early. And I'm going to go through all the roadmaps from season 1 to season 7, which we're in right now, with Prince Achmed and Marshmallow. And let's start off with Season 1. Season 1 started on 14th of July 2022. And and we had three updates that include the Rescuers, the Up Mini Event, and Turn Red Mega Event, which were July, August, September. And the adduction of Charles Muntz and Doug. Hi, I just met you and I love you. <laughs> and during July, we had. Uh, who was it? Miss Bianca? Yeah, Miss Bianca. Yeah, and Penny. Penny and, and Bianca. And then during the Up Mini event, we got Kevin, Russell, and Charles. Carol. <laughs> and then during Turning Red, we we got the the fanfic girls. Priya, Miriam, May, Abby, and Ming Lee. <laughs> Season 2 started on the 13th of October and that ended in January where we got Hocus Pocus as the mini event in October and then DuckTales and The Rescuers Part 2 well Part 3 in November, and then update 65 was for Hunchback of Notre Dame, which was quite nice. And the season 2 characters were Maurice and Dr. Finkelstein from Nightmare Before Christmas. Well, opposite way around. Finkelstein was the first one, and then Maurice with his costume. And that's when we got the Sanderson sisters, Sarah, Winford, and Mary. And then during November, that's when we got Webby and Medusa. And then update 65 for Hunchback of Notre Dame event was Cosmo, uh, Esmeralda, Phoebus, Frollo, and Jolly. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> now on to season three. Which started in 12th of January and then changed over in April. Update 66, we got permanent content in January, which include Miss Jumbo and Stork, Mr. Stork. And during that time, we we got uh, 22 and Moonwind and his soul form. And then in the soul mini event, we had Joe Gardner, Dorothy Williams, and 
Mr. Mittens. And then the lovely update 68 was Encanto. Where we had Lisa, Lisa, Isabella, Bruna, Antonia, Meribel, <laughs> We don't talk about Bruno, no, no. <laughs> then first thing of April was the season four roadmap reveal where we had Bambi which in introduced Feline and the Great Prince of the Forest. And then update 70, Star, Star Wars, with Emperor Palpatine and the Mandalorian, with Moff Gideon, yeah Moff Gideon and Wokan Carice, yeah, I don't think I'm going to anime so that was easier. <laughs> easier. <laughs> And then update 71 was Inside Out, mega event, which happened in June. I sure I remember that one quite well, because I, so I had to chant for joy's ears, so I'm going to drop out last. <laughs> well, we had sadness, joy, disgust, anger, fear, all that. All the emotions. And then the 13th of July, oh I forgot, uh, hold on, I forgot to talk what was in the season pass in this. For Emperor from Mulan, and Gopher from Winnie the Pooh. I was sure in this, this frame. Now this, 13th of July, 2023, where we had Wally, Wally, permanent content, of course, Tower event, which was update 72, which happened in July, and that's where we got more land. And then we had another Lucas IP, which was Indiana Jones, which was also the season pass, in the season pass as well, with Henry Jones Sr., Indiana Jones' dad, and Marion Wavenwood. And during for the Wally permit content, we got the captain and Mo M O or M Sarah Look like you clean the robot <laughs> And then Indiana Jones we got Salah Belloc and Indiana Jones himself So another Harrison Ford in the kingdom <laughs> And then we got a Perfect mega event, which was the Aristocats, which was the Kiddies and Duchess. Well, Duchess will lose to lose Maria, Maria, yeah, and Thomas O'Malley. Will lose to lose. I was not even planning to run there, but whatever. <laughs> and then during this, and then this time frame of the 12th of October, 
the season pass was focus on the Black Cauldron, which I like, <laughs> which we just featured in the season pass during season six, was Food of Lamb and Princess Eleni. Eleni. And the Black Cauldron mini event was up to 70, 75. And that's when we had the, ha the Halloween Park themed event. And with Black Cauldron mini event with Taran, the Horn King, and Gurgi. Oh, that is the of the Prince of the Monsters. <laughs> And then to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Southern Stern, where we had update 76, and that's when Merlin became a main character in the main storyline, and King Arthur, or some reason why they call call him what what in the game, <laughs> and this one we had another. Tower Challenge event. And Autumn arrives in the kingdom so taking down the Halloween themed area. Which was update 76. Which was in November. And then in December, which you'll probably know, the Muppets Mega event. And the kingdom gets a festival look, which was December update 77. Uh, we got the characters like Kermy, Ralph, Animal, Miss Piggy, and the Swedish Chef. Maybe this is what I get. Oh well, yeah, season 6 started on the 12th of October, which is the night of all Right, on to the next one, which is season 7 road map, which starts on the 11th of January, and it ends in April of 2024. And this is where we got, we got Sword and Stone part 2 as permanent content, which is quite weird to do it. I'm back to back so soon, but eh. It does be quite boring if it was just only those two in there. And this is where we got Sir Hector. What's Foster Father? And another Tower Challenge, which was someone update 78. And then the Mulan on mini event, which is update 79, which we're in right now. Well, we're getting Yao, Ling, and Chimpo. And then update, some, update 80 is the Ice Age mega event. Well, we can likely see. Well, they're being leaked anyway, so. Manny, Sid, Scrat, Diego, and Baby Scrat. Yeah, so basically them. Like doing close to new IPs, very close to each other, like for Muppets, which was December and Ice Age in March. You should have just given it some time before Ice Age, or we should have done a survey asking if we want to see Blue Sky or Fox content in DMK. Unless, unless that was in the 
said it before. I wouldn't know, because I didn't get it. I'm talking about that. September 25th, 2023. They said, your op opinion matters. Take the in-game service to receive these amazing rewards. Gems, a concession and a decoration. And this is what they said in, in the Instagram post. We want to hear from you, receive some awesome, amazing rewards by completing the in-game survey today. Rewards include 25 gems, one concession chest and one decoration chest. Survey will only be available until October 2nd at 3pm GMP, October 22nd, 2023, which was their Thanksgiving. The Canadian Thanksgiving rewards will be received in game after the survey period has end. But like me, I never got the survey. I was wait I was waiting for ages, checking the game like non stop. Through twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, thirtieth, first nothing. I got nothing. Nothing for the seven days. And not even on the second not even on the second of October either. So, so I didn't get the survey at all. Plus, I the only way I could look at it was on Reddit. Reddit. Plus, this stuff it was asking about Disney Channel shows, like High School Musical, all the films, and also like Kim Possible, Phineas and Ferb. Darkwing Duck, all that, and I didn't even get to choose. They should. They should make another one. For the people who didn't, didn't get it, on the twenty fifth of twenty twenty three in September. September 25th, 2023. Well, at least give some people who didn't get this. Like a random legendary chess. Or something. Or some gems. Like maybe they, they should have used like the survey monkey like Disney during like Valley and did and post it on the X or Twitter, whatever you call it, Facebook, Discord, so everybody can do it. Uh no people usually don't do the the use social media so Yeah, it's really up to them. Plus, they, they still can click the link anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> the next question is, is there too much Star Wars in in the game? I'm going to have to say yes, since there's current, there are currently 29 Star Wars characters in the game. From Star Wars season, I mean, episode 7 to 9. That's uh, the Mandalorian with the Mario Mandalorian season 2. Season 3. Episode 4 of Star Wars, that's a 5 and 6. Plus, if they decide to do another Star Wars update, they really need to expand the Star Wars land 100%. Well, 
like hundred percent the need to expand it. Or just for me, I still don't have a child and Ahsoka from the Mandalorian or Clone Wars, whatever. <laughs> Now I'm going to talk about the calendar here, and should calendars be updated again? Like, like should gems, should the gems be increased to five, ten, like that? Should should we get like two legendary chests in calendar, like for special? Like to celebrate a film's anniversary or something. Or maybe just do like a redemption code for their for their anniversaries. Like it's example. Chinese New New Year? Redemption code for Mulan, legendary test. Because we know, so we know the legendary chess redemption codes do happen, but not randomly. Like example, should a spooky chess appear in the calendar reward, like? Example here, Mickey's Not So Scary happens in August. Should Disney G Magic Kingdom do it? Do it when they announce it? Should Disney Magic Kingdom do the same way as Disney Dreamlight Valley did? Like they could split it up in like I like have season season eight and season nine together. Just like like have the have the collection to announce that we know. Uh I just or the hint versions for season nine. And this would be good. This would be a good idea for like the sur survey. Like so, so how, so, so how chance go back how the war, like getting, like getting a future character, doing event storyline, event side quest storylines. I do miss that. Quite a lot. Since we have Merlin and Willison still talking. In that, and then we get more dialogue with the characters. <laughs> yeah, I should know, it's funny. On the 29th of February, I thought instead of a silver chest, I think they were going to put the princess and the light princess and the frog legendary chest. But they both move on and put the silver chest. <laughs> that would have been fun if this if they celebrated the leap year, the princess and the frog. Well, Frogs in the title, so they leap. It's a leap here, so. <laughs> but I'm only missing Doctor Facilier in that chest. I have everything from Ten Red in a way, so it's fine. So at least you get to Sermon Gems. 
or whatever. <laughs> Right, this is about... Uh, yeah, this is about it. Thanks for watching. And also, see you guys for the next video. Whenever that might be.